Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you the new feature added to MATLAB 2025A, and that is this Copilot feature, which is quite a bit interesting. So it kind of made MATLAB programming literally trivial, because now you just need to kind of give it an overall description of what you want, and this is a large language model that is trained based on MATLAB documentation. So immediately, once you just tell it what you want to do, it starts generating the code for you. And uh, not only that, it can also generate test code to test your uh, function or whatever that you're writing. And you can also ask it to explain the code for you. Okay. So to demonstrate this for you, this Copilot feature, let's go ahead and do something interesting. So I'm going to redo all of this for you, and we're going to see it uh, step by step. So here we are in the um, clean command window, and this is the Copilot. So if you want, you can just tell it to generate a code for you that does everything right that you want. Now, of course, remember that this copilot is not as strong as something like ChatGPT, but uh, actually it can do a relatively good job as long as you are limited to uh, MATLAB and MATLAB documentation, right? So if you want to ask it to do some tasks, right? Read an image, do something, stuff like that. You can just type it here and it generates the code. But I want to show you something that is even more interesting than that. So look here, I go ahead and create a new function, right? And here we want this function to generate the angle of a nonlinear pendulum. If you give it the length of the pendulum and if you give it the initial conditions, right? Remember the equation of motion is theta double dot equals negative G over L sine theta. So all you really need is L. And G is a constant, so you give it the length, the initial theta, the initial theta dot, and the total time of simulation. And this one generates the plot for you. So it doesn't have any output, but I call it the nonlinear pendulum. And the inputs, as I said, is L and then theta zero and omega zero and T final. Right? And end now look here so here i want to basically get my conditions right or I use my ode to solve and you see immediately it starts giving you suggestions but this is what i want to do so first you need g so here i say parameters right and i go to next line and it knows that the t span should be 0 to t final g is 9.81 and initial conditions should be theta 0 and w 0 so just use a tab and boom you got your parameters all defined then even without me even typing the next step it knows that the next step to create the function for od45 so i don't even need to say that it knows hey the next step is to say that the function y1 dot is y2 and y2 dot is negative g over l sine of y1. And this is your function. And the time span and initial condition. Now, if you don't like it this way, look. So I can say define the function for OD45, right? And there we go. Right? You see, it can do it, but if you want as in line function. So let's see if I can define it just as in line function. There we go, you see here. And then if I don't want this, look again. So I say solve the ODE now, solve the, the, solve the uh, ODE. And there we go, it does it. And then I can say plot the result. And there we go. And let's give it one tab. And you see, as simple as this. And I'm going to call it my nonlinear pendulum function. So this is ready to go. 
and I did not really write a line of code myself, which could be good or bad, but really I just provide the general hints and it knows what to go next. Now I want to test this, make sure this is really working. So I go here and that is the next feature that MATLAB has and that is MATLAB test. So it can generate tests for you, right? So say, hey, go ahead and generate tests for the current file using Copilot, or you can do it as well here, right? But before I do that, let me do something cool. So before I even go and generate a test for it, I grab this and say, first, explain this for me, right? And then look, it says, hey, this function simulates and visualizes the motion of nonlinear pendulum over some time right it does it an ordinary differential equation visualizes the angle versus time it takes the pendulum uh, length initial angle velocity and the final time then uses od 45 to solve it and then here you can see that for every few lines of code it starts explaining them exactly what it does right so the first equation returns this then this one this one this one and everything that you want right and then as i said you can go here and say generate the uh, test code for it and it is going to generate test code and it does it with objects and with classes so look here it has a testing for it so it is going to pass it a length of one meter initial angle of 0.1 small angle omega of zero and t final of 10 and Basically, make sure that uh, first the output of the data is checked and it is really going to plot it for you. And then it does it for a bigger angle, pi over 2. And again, make sure that it generates the data for you. So now, if you want, you can save this guy as nonlinear pendulum test. And then you can run the test here. And there we go. You see, it has generated the graphics for you, the angle. And if you want, you can go here and look. There we go. You see, so basically it tested both of these guys, small angle and large angle. Both of them passed. None of them really failed or incomplete or not run or anything. So they are working just fine. And here you can have it to run it with parallel execution or non-parallel execution and uh, there is uh, a bunch of other settings here right so you see that basically with this extra stuff added and with the copilot now you can just generate code by just giving it some prompts explaining it generating tests and you can go to the setting and of course you can change how the copilot is going to behave and you can see here, if you don't want the copilot to get on your way, you want to write the code yourself without any help, you can always disable this. Okay, and then auto completion again, do you want it to enable, disabled, or pause? Okay, so you can basically stop this if you want. And this guy is quite a bit expensive. So for um, an individual is around four or five hundred dollars and also the test is a separate cost so this license that we have here at Denver riddle is relatively a complete license so it comes with all of these things but uh, if you want to buy them separately the test and the co-pilot you have to pay uh, quite a bit of a money on each one of them so i just wanted to introduce them to you and hopefully you learn something thank you